Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, I'm just devastated. I'm a I'm a Jets fan. I just had to watch that heartbreaking loss to Buffalo. My team go to two and four. Uh, let's not get caught up on that. Uh, we're gonna have the fight between the two names that no one can pronounce, uh, which is which is interesting. Uh, we're gonna break that down. Bakram, Modern Zayev. I think I'm saying that right. And and Tim Zhu. Uh, in what should be a really, really entertaining fight. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The page is also in that little ticker below. Uh, $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. Gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you request to fight. It gets you the updated props. Like the props aren't out on this fight yet. When the props do drop, we're going to show you how to make money on the props as well. Come over to the Patreon. $5 a month. Uh, gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. I think we've hit something like 11 out of the last 13 locks. So there's no one else in the world that can do it like I can do it. And it's just $5 a month to get you that lock of the week. And you go, you get, get gambling advice on any other fight that you want. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, also, carnivorebar.com, the nutrition of a steak and a convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Go to carnivorebar.com. Use uh, promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. That's promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Uh, the convenience of a snack. The convenience of a steak with the, I'm sorry, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a snack. Uh, it's carnivorebar.com. All right. I, I screwed that up. Uh, I screwed that right up. We'll, we'll get it right at the end. Um, oh, oh the guys, please like and subscribe. Please hit the like button. All right. Let, let's get into today's show. Um, background Marazaya. Big, strong guy, slow, plotting guy who likes to be aggressive against lesser talent. He's not fighting lesser talent. He's fighting a big hitter in Zoo. This is going to be a, a fun fight. Both guys are flawed defensively, one much more than the other. Uh, but this is going to be entertaining, fan-friendly, offensive fight. Mortis Live heads on the line, flicks out the jab. He uses his jab as his defense, but he's easy to hit. He's a slow, plotting fighter who comes at you. He gets hit a lot. He's got straight, powerful shots. The power's at the end of his punches. I, I like how he throws his punches. I like how he maintains distance. I like how he does these things. But at the highest level, he's easy to hit. He's easy to get on, ins on the inside of if you're at that highest level. I at these other levels, he can keep you at the end of his shots. He can keep you where he wants to be. He can also be aggressive and he can come at you. But I we, we saw the Cole K fight, and, and Cole K is a B-level guy who's over the hill. He was 38 when they fought or something like that. And Coquet was able to, you know, keep that distance. And unfortunately, you know, at that distance, he, he was just sitting talking. Coquet is not that good in his shot. Um, but Marzai is, is long. He's six foot tall. He's strong as hell. He's powerful. He's got a durable chin. He's got, you know, like I said, good power. He's very, very good at long range. He, he likes to be at long range. Uh, when he does come forward, he's physically strong, and he can bully he can bully you back, which is what he does. He's good when he's aggressive. But it's just, you know, he, he's really untested. He hasn't fought anyone at this level. He gets hit too much. This is, it's got the makings of a good fight, but it's also got the makings of he's going to get knocked out. And I, I do think his aggression isn't fixing to win him these fights like his, his aggression and his, and his and his defensive flaws may make the fight fun but they don't make him victorious in this fight and uh you know tim zoo is a guy that he's grown on me a lot you know if you go back and you, and you listen to someone I, I wasn't high on him uh but he stalks forward he's got a sharp jab strong fighter as well he's not going to be bullied uh by background he's not going to be pushed around he's kind of slow but he's the faster guy in the ring uh he's straightforward 
He's not super high volume, but he gets hit a fair amount too, but he's defensively better, especially on the inside. His skills on the inside are much sharper. He's not just a puncher on the inside. He mixes things up. He goes to the body. Uh, he can block shots a little bit. You know, he's, he's better. He's a, he's a more finely tuned, higher IQ fighter. Um, he struggles with movement, and, and that's his downfall. Fortunately for him, Bakram ain't moving, so that's not going to be a factor in this fight. Zoo likes to be first, and I, I think that that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Who, who's first? Who's landing first? Um, Zoo's got a really good jab, strong jab. He uses it head, body, head, body well. Uses it to both. Really big power in his right hand, and he's got a snappy jab in, in, his, in his left hand. So he's relentless. He leaves the pressure on. Good gas tank. He gets better later, and, and I think that's going to be the difference. I, I do like a late knockdown in this fight. Good, accurate shots from the outside. He's not going to get demolished from the outside like Koke. He's going to be able to hold his own on the outside. Patient. He's, he's a very patient fighter. There's a subtle high ring IQ to him, right? He, he mixes up his shots well. He sets his shots up well. He subtly it, – it, it's like Carl Frost a little bit. Like, it, it, it doesn't – Necessarily look like he's an ultra high IQ guy, but if you look at what he's doing, uh, there's a rhyme and a reason for everything he does. And then he mulls away on the inside. He's strong. He's got good skills. He can beat you up on the inside. He can beat you up on the outside. He can walk you backwards. He's a really good fighter. Um, you know, I, I think if, if not for the cut, I, I think he's an undefeated fighter. I think you know, without that cut, he beats up Fandora and he wins that. And we're not really having this conversation. Uh, but you are, you're only as good as your last fight, so Zoo lost, so he is what he is. But I, I definitely think he wins this fight. I think he's another level. I, I think he walks walks in out, out here in, in an entertaining fight, uh, but ultimately a fight he gets a stoppage in. So let's take a look at the take a look at the odds. And oh, don't tell me this crap. Don't don't give me this. Oh, this is off. Hang on. Give me a minute. This is completely unprofessional. This is completely unprofessional. Here we go. Uh, here it is. Minus 700. Uh, it was at minus 600 the other day. I would take this. I would build my parlay around this. I think this is a nice fight to add to your parlay. Uh, you can mix this with a couple other things. We'll see the other odds that come out. But minus 700, I, I definitely like Zuda win this fight. This is easy money. Uh, on, on a standalone bet. I would do this two times bet, $150 bet makes $21. But more importantly, when the props come out, come over to the Patreon, join the Patreon. I, I want to look at the stoppages. Uh, I, I want to see the odds on the stoppages. I, I like a stoppage in the second half of the fight or zoo. Uh, but this is something you can, if you want to make it one uh, standalone bet on it, I, I would bet one and a half times my normal bet or build your parlay around this, use this, and then we can add some other fights to help bring this down and get it to you know more favorable odds, throw in some other fights that we can really help bring this down. But I like this. Uh, I like Zoo. And I like him by stoppage when the props come out. Let's take a look at the – let's take a look at those odds together, all right? Uh, it is – so, I mean, that's a review. Zoo on the money line. Great fight to add to your parlay to build to your parlay around at minus seven hundred. It's it's not terrible. I, I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy money for the most part. I, I think this is pretty safe money. I should say. All right, y'all. Uh, it is October fifteenth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Oh. Well, Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.